Hello, second channel. Didn't see you there. So today we are going to expand on the whole Jax Films Sissa Sniper Wolf drama because I briefly mentioned it when it was just a Twitter back and forth. Her feeling some type of way about him parodying the style of content that she makes. Here's a clip of that. I was on Twitter and all this, all this shit is on fire. And then there's a little tiny fire over here, uh, more in my circle, that has to do with Jax Films and Sissa Sniper Wolf getting into a little Twitter beef. And truly the Jax Films Sissa Sniper Wolf thing is not as serious as the Colleen thing, obviously. It's just crazy that that was also happening at the same time. So I just wanted to bring it up briefly. And that was also wild because Sissa Sniper Wolf is like, oh, I get more views than you, old man. But bringing up his like looks, trying to be a Drew F. Wallow when really it doesn't apply. It's not appropriate. You're just getting defensive because your content is geared towards children. Just own it. It's very lowbrow. She's getting ratio left and right. And meanwhile, her only defense is, but I get views, but I'm a bigger YouTuber. But today I decided to make a bigger picture video about it because I've been keeping up with his parody channel, Jujja Jax Films. One thing that I always loved about Jax Films is his commitment to a bit. And that's initially what I thought this was. And it is, it is. I mean, every time this end screen comes up of him trying to mimic her facial expressions, I fucking lose it. I cry, I laugh so hard, I shit. Like, it's so good. But... The big picture really came to me all at once when in the latest Jujja Jack Films video I watched, I'll link it above, I'll link it below, I'll link it everywhere, he went on this freebooting TikTok account and then he scrolled far enough down to where he saw Sniper Wolf reacting to a freeboot of a freeboot and this is freebooting that freeboot that's a freeboot. It's like it's so fucking normalized, especially on TikTok where there's no system of checks and balances for content thieves. No wonder she's able to thrive. Like it's so ingrained in the culture of TikTok. And quite frankly, I feel like no one gives a shit about it other than creators because for the consumers, it's like, okay, regardless of how I watch it, I'm watching it. I'm enjoying what was created. So what is the point in me trying to seek out the original? Especially for consumers on TikTok, they are on TikTok, so they don't have to do that work. Okay, I found when me and Jack were talking about this back in 2021. So it's not like he's just jumping on to the Sniper Wolf's case because of, what were people saying? It's sexist? Huh? I think that's the narrative she was trying to push and it really didn't catch on because Jack has been parodying lazy content stealers since the beginning of time, or the beginning of YouTube rather, sorry. It's always something he was passionate about because it sucks when people are making money from something they didn't make. As this a sniper wolf says herself, the big guys be eating all the little guys. We're so used to this kind of exploitation in every other field, in the corporate world, in the healthcare system, in the restaurant industry. And I feel like people disregard entertainers and actors because it's like they're following their dreams. And it's like, yeah, I, I can love being content creator. There's not many things I complain about with it, but it's, it's the platforms not sticking up for the people that are honest and use the platform in the way that it's intended. I have my TikToks being stolen and I've reported it and TikTok has gotten back to me saying, oh, we don't see them doing anything wrong. Maybe if you were verified, you could uh, appropriately report uh, a theft. It's bonkers. And I think it's because this thing, being the internet, has grown so much that YouTube, TikTok, they realize people are going to go on and watch them regardless. So why would they shoot themselves in the foot and scold people that are getting eyeballs on advertisements and commercials and bullshit? Because that's all they care about. That is the one thing that Jack put his foot down about. It's not like he expects YouTube to delete her channel, but propping her up as this like A++ exemplary creator? What does she create? Listen, I do watching Blank Drunk. I do reactions. It's fun to engage with things, but when those things are five seconds long and you're just describing what happens, it's not creating. People are literally just watching you for the TikToks. You are making a glorified TikTok compilation where your face is just there being like, she should not be able to monetize from doing that. And I think, nay, I know she's capable of doing other things because didn't she start as a gamer? Interact with anything else. <laughs> Three second videos, no. Unless they're yours, there's nothing you could possibly add that will enhance the quality of the content. Best and worst gender reveals fails. I don't think we need your input after, you know, something explodes and it's blue and you go, it's a boy. We got that. I assure you we got that. I know Jack is playing the long game because the moment 
she copyright strikes one of his videos. It's it's just going to be the most hypocritical fucking bullshit we've ever seen on the platform probably ever. Not everything has to be super high effort. Like I've seen shit posts that probably take a YouTuber three seconds to make and I laugh my balls off. It's not okay when it's low effort theft and you're making probably six figures from doing nothing. It's frustrating to see. It's very discouraging. I understand why he keeps talking about it. People are like, oh wow, he's just clout chasing or oh wow he's doing the exact same thing well everyone's gonna start doing the exact same thing everyone's gonna start making this trash content if that's what gets money and and quality again is debatable like people could watch my videos and fucking hate them but at the very least they could say yeah she's she's engaging with what she's watching oh yeah she's commenting i dare sniper wolf to put in even an ounce of effort even a little bit I highly recommend you check out this Jack Holmes video about her most egregious sins, including but not limited to forgetting to react and stealing the joke from the TikTok, like cutting the TikTok off short and then saying what they said and playing it off like it's her joke. That shit really got me. <laughs> anyway, have a great day, second channel.